according to Variety, mm -hmm. the Acolyte will not return for season two. Lucasfilm was, has elected not to continue with the Star Wars series following its first season, which depicted the rise of the Sith roughly 100 years before the events of Star Wars The Phantom Menace. Quote, mm -hmm. oh, the Acolyte is dead. Star Wars, <laughs> the Star Wars series will not, won't return for season two. That's according to Variety. So... I didn't watch this. I don't know a lot about Star Wars, but what are the streets saying? What are you, and by the streets, I mean you. <laughs> oh, I was about to say Twitter's mad. Because I know, well, yes, you and and Star Wars fans, because I just don't, I don't know a lot about it. So I don't know if this is a good thing, a bad thing, a, I don't know. But I do, what I what I will say is that I do know that Disney has been pushing out a lot of Star Wars content. So yes. I'm curious, like, how do, where does this stand in the midst of all of that? Well, this is what's confusing to me. Um, Twitter is mad, by the way. That's that. Oh, and I okay. thought that's what you meant by the streets. It is trending on Twitter and people are upset. Okay. Um, they're saying that, you know, Star Wars, the Star Wars company, Lucasfilm company, mm -hmm. which really is Mickey Mouse, by the way. Uh, House of Mouse, you know, as we called it last week. Uh, House of Mouse has been pumping out a lot of Star Wars content and largely on Twitter what I saw was that people were upset. Uh, they feel that there are shows that have been continued that were not as good and okay. not as interesting and that fans have asked for certain shows to get multiple seasons and they have been denied this being another one of those shows. Um, What's confusing to me is it seemed like they were going to begin to get into what's called the Old Republic. The Old Republic was a certain time frame in the Star Wars universe, and it seemed like this was going to be their introduction into that time frame. It seemed like this is the first piece of content that was going to be in that time frame, and that was going to be what started us in that time frame. Um, the Old Republic is really popular. There's a video game series that's really popular. Um, but when Disney took over Star Wars, when Disney purchased Star Wars, they basically said a lot of shit, ex except for a small portion of things that came out, ma mainly the films, um, everything else was not canon. It was just erased from history. Mm -hmm. And so people were very curious, including myself, what was going to happen with some of that stuff that had a huge following, like Knights of the Old Republic, which is the video game that had a huge following. Mm -hmm. um, and so it seemed like when Acolyte came out, this would be the first thing that we would get from that time frame, and they were going to begin the journey into showing us those times of the past. Um, and so I don't know, I don't know why this is discontinued. It's it clearly was starting something, right? Um, yeah. It was eight episodes. Um, I saw something that said two hundred million dollars were spent. And the viewership was a lot lower than expected. I don't know if that's true or not. That was not reported by Variety. Um, but I did see someone showing graphs and stuff on Twitter. I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't done the research. I saw that a few minutes before we began potting. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure. But I just am confused by the move. Um, I know that right now the focus has largely been a specific time uh, through a bunch of these live action shows, Boba Fett. Mandalorian, Ahsoka, and even the new one that's coming, Skeleton Crew, they're all in a specific time frame and they're all leading up to some stuff that they're going to be doing with films. Uh, but what I don't understand is then why do, why do this show? Why start us uh, in the Old Republic and even show us a post credit scene at the end of Yoda and then get people hyped and it's over? I think it's really confusing. I think it's kind of weird. Because now you've created all these characters that we didn't know about. And we got all these questions now that we figured, okay, in season two, y'all gonna, you know, go a little deeper, show us a little more, et cetera. Um, it just doesn't make sense. And also it's clear the way that the show was shot, that the last episode makes it very clear that they're leading to the next season, right? This is not like the story's done and the chapter's closed. But there's a possibility of a second season. No, this the way this ended was like, yeah, season two, we're gonna go into X, Y, and Z. So you think um, it's just 
So, so you think that this was something that came up later on, like, like they, the, 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 like the expectation was that they were going to do something more, but then for whatever reason, they decided not to anymore. Yes. I think that's very clear. If you watch the, the show, um, okay. Even you who haven't watched it, if you just went and randomly, I mean, you'd have 8 million questions. But if you just went after this episode and just watched the last episode, you would be like, oh, yeah, it's clear that they're setting. They were all of this was setting up for next season. Yeah, you need some of this. Want to take a sip? Oh, my gosh. I don't know what came over me. It's like, whew. it's like I took a Um, sleeping pill. No bueno. But yeah, so it's a little weird. I don't really understand the move. Mm hmm. But I personally have not understood a lot of the things they've been doing over at Disney+. Plus. A lot of the shows that have come out have been kind of weird, and we've spoke about this before, more so about Marvel. But I think it applies across the board. I think a lot of the stuff they're doing over there at House of Mouse, um, I think a lot of it is questionable. Um, and I don't, I don't really understand it. Uh, but I don't know the economics. I don't know the plan. Right. For the business, so perhaps that's why. <clears throat> I just feel like, what was the point of putting out one season that was not a one and done thing? You know what I'm saying? Like, again, if it was, there are shows that you watch. Okay, I'll give you a good example. The show Your Honor, not a Disney Plus show, but huh. just show the show up. Your Honor. When the first season ended, yeah. it was like, oh man, great show, great limited series. I don't need another season. This ended solid just so happened it was so popular that they decided to make a season two which was trash but anyway um my point is some shows like that show you feel like okay i feel satisfied all the chapters were kind of closed out all the storylines are well, kind of closed serious. out right well, and that's what this like was it's, this it's, was it's called this was that. only eight episodes right it's it's meant to be just that. You right. Know? And so they gave us eight episodes of Acolyte that were clearly leading somewhere and yeah. then closed it out. And I feel like that's that's whack to me. Like, I yeah. don't understand the, the, the point of that. For, so why, why even put it out? Or then make it 10 episodes and close it out. Right. Because no, that's weird. But that's why I'm saying that it sounds like this was something that maybe they did expect that they would have a season two, but then later on it, they had to come back and make a different decision. Um, I don't know why that is, but yeah, I, I agree. I think. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say that's what it's that's what it sounds like to me. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, hey, you know, maybe you need some more of that. I was I was already reaching for it. And you know, truly, I I I think mm-hmm. House of Mouse has really struggled with the franchise of Star Wars since purchasing it okay. all those years ago. I think that they have I think they've tried to apply the way they do things to the way Star Wars is. Okay. And they've struggled. I mean, the Mandalorian show is a hit, mm-hmm. but those first couple movies were garbage. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rogue One was phenomenal, so th- I think they've just had a lot of struggles. There's been a lot of ups and downs mm-hmm. for them with Star Wars, and I feel like fans feel the same way. Like we've been here, kind of getting a lot of weird stuff, and so I don't know, man. I don't know. But I, I'm disappointed. If that's not clear, I'll just say it in plain English. I'm disappointed. Mm-hmm. I thought it would have been cool to see where they went with the old Republic stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe things will change. Maybe there will be enough demand from the fans that this will change and they'll do season two. And the weird part is, I don't think it was even the best show ever. It just like clearly it was setting stuff up and it was interesting enough to see, okay, well, let's see where that stuff goes. Right. And so then you cancel it. So I don't, I don't know. It's weird. I feel like Disney don't really know what to do with Star Wars. I feel like they're, they, they have a lot of conflicts going on over there. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't think they really know 
how to use the Star Wars franchise and its material uh, to keep fans interested and to really do like just cool shit. Yeah. Interesting. 